so fast. At six years old, Noah has only a few words to explain how he felt. A little bit sad. But through his mom Donna's eyes, it was more traumatic. I could see him through the glass and he, he put his hand on the window and he just started crying. On Sunday night, Donna was with her kids, brother and two friends. When the Max came, she was trying to navigate this stroller onto the train. He um, goes and um, gets on the Max and I'm trying to get the wheels in the, in the Max. Take a look at the top of your screen in this surveillance video. Donna's group walks towards the door. After a few seconds, the lights start flashing, doors close, and Noah darts onto the train. When it closed, I put my hand on the glass. Then the doors close, and we were trying to open the doors. We start pushing every button to get in the doors. As the train takes off, Donna's brother runs toward the front, trying to get the operator to stop, but she says he wouldn't. So her brother, a TriMet employee, chased the train to the next stop where Good Samaritans were waiting with Noah. He said, Mom, I thought I was never going to see you again, and it just broke my heart. As a mom, Donna worries this could happen I again. I thank God that I found my, my son, but, you know, there's other cases, and you never know what could happen. A TriMet spokesperson tells us that for safety reasons, the trains can simply not stop between stations. Donna says that she's actually filed a complaint with TriMet. She says she's even looking into hiring an attorney. We're live in downtown Portland, Megan Cockstein, K2 News. Really is amazing how many of these we've had in the mm -hmm. last couple of years. Megan, thank you for that.